All right, hey, thanks for joining the video. Today, I wanna show you guys a really easy way that you can use multiple SREF commands at the same time to iterate different looks for an idea that you might be planning for a project. Um, so uh, we have put together a handy dandy, uh, over 100 page, it's a 114 page guide for our favorite SREF codes. So an SREF code is a number that MidJourney has, and that is the style aesthetic uh, for an image in MidJourney. And you can use that code uh, to create different um, ideas, right? And in, in, it really doesn't matter what the subject is. If you use the code, it will always kind of look with the same color and art style and that type of stuff, right? So let me just show you real quick. So our, our SRF code library, uh, what we did is we just real quickly, we put together some different ideas with our favorite SRF codes. Uh, these are in no particular order, but these are the ones that we use all the time when we're creating things. And let me tell you, uh, there's a lot of amazing image uh, style codes in here. And just to keep things kind of fresh, we chose 16 different words. For example, this one is obviously Viking. And then we, we just applied Viking with the style um, SREF code. And then that produced this image. And you can see here's how a cheeseburger, how landscape or how a kitchen mixer might look with the same code. So that's just an example of that. But here's what I wanna do is I wanna show you how you can use multiple SREF codes all at one time to generate a bunch of different looks so you can pick, oh, that, that's kinda what I wanna do for my project. So let's go over here to Midjourney and I've got a prompt already set up, lion, angry, iconic, brand mark, roaring. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go dash dash S ref. And then we're gonna uh, apply the curly bracket. Now the curly bracket is a power permutation. So we can give mid journey multiple instructions at once and then it will uh, produce those for us. And this is an easy way to generate lots of images all at one time, just to get an idea of what direction we wanna go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick some from our um, code library. So let's just do this first one, just because it's on the first page, 976-633-098. So 976-633-098, comma. Right now we're gonna add another one that's completely different. And this is gonna give us some different looks, all right? So uh, let's find another one. Uh, and let's go here and let's get this gold etching look, which is the style code there is just 507. So we type in 507 with a comma, right? And let's get another one. Uh, and let's get this one here, rustic pop. I like this little flat color look, which is 1239150329. So one, two, three. Oops, I forgot it. What it was? Nine one five nine one five zero three two nine zero three two nine comma. And let's do one more. So let's uh, let's go all the way somewhere in the back. And uh, let's do uh, this woodcut look. Right, four six six two three two five nine seven four six six two three two five, nine, seven, right? And then we close the bracket. Now, when I hit go, what this is gonna do is it's gonna generate four images for each of these style codes with the lion prompt. And the, the really great thing about this is that this allows you to kind of like test some style and color and different kind of uh, image looks. Uh, and you can do it really quickly. So I'm just gonna hit go. And of course, you can see that um, this gives us each of these in a row, and it shows you this, the ref style code, the style reference code. 
And then this is how we can decide on what we want to do and play around with some things. So let's check out what we made, right? Here's the first one, which is this vintage pen and ink look. Uh, do we have one that we really like? I, that one's kind of cool, right? Uh, and then we have 507, which is that kind of uh, old time silver point etching kind of a look. That's kind of nice. And then we have this flat color style, which is, you know, reminiscent of maybe like a circus poster, I guess. That that one's cool. I like that one a lot too. And then this is this old, old school woodcut look, right? Um, you know, which is kind of handy for things. That that one's nice. So let's just play around with these and let's just pick one that we like. Let's choose this one. Now, where does this stuff come from? Where do you get the style reference code? Just look in the comment section of the video, but also up at the top uh, of the YouTube channel here, and you'll find uh, the link to get this uh, style reference code. It's free. I want you to have it to play around with, okay? So anyway, so here's our, here's our lion, and let's say we don't like this stupid bird over here, so we just go to editor, right, and we can just totally take out the stuff that we don't like, and we just hit submit. And let's go back to create, and it's going to fix our thing for us. And then this is how we can sneak up on an idea really quickly without a lot of time and get to something that we really like that we can use later um, for our project, right? So um, here you go. Here's our line. And if we wanted to use this, um, I would always upscale it. And uh, so this allows us to get a higher resolution file that we can download. And then we're off to the races for our project. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please check out the SREF code library. Uh, you can find that right in the link in the comments. And uh, it, uh, we made this for you. It's got over 100 SREF codes just for you. Be sure to check them out. And we would also love it if you would subscribe to the Mid-Journey Experience newsletter. This is a weekly newsletter that's delivered right to your inbox. Um, and it's got tips and tricks just like this uh, for you, uh, especially aimed at creative professionals, uh, because we know that you guys uh, don't have a lot of time, but you want to learn how to do things better. So thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.